Hey guys and welcome back to another video. It's the Indigo family here and today the roles are reversed. I'm going to be asking Molly 10 awkward questions. Oh god. Are you ready? <laughs> Scared. Make sure you add to these like to the honest. best of your ability okay. and to be honest. Okay. Yeah? yeah? You got it? First question. Do you girls poop? <laughs> Do they? Because like I barely catch you. Like you always do it like very secretly. It's almost like a secret mission, you know what I mean? You do it. No. I can only smell you after. No, because I always spray. Yeah, and you spray, but like I do, it does have a little like hint, you know what I mean? You can never really like fade away the smell. Bit rude. <laughs> smells like flowers, thanks. <laughs> but yes, girls do poop, you know, we have human bodies. When we consume food, where do you think it goes? That was a dumb question, but it's a guy, isn't it? <laughs> okay, next question. Okay. Does height matter to you? I'm like under six foot. Uh, like it's like a preference for like, so, guys to be like over six foot and super tall. You know if I'm, I'm gonna answer honestly, I'm just about five and If I'm gonna answer honestly, it does depend on the girl's height. Like for example, if I was really really short, like I am short, but I'm talking like under yeah. five foot. Yeah. Like I, as long as they're like, I think any girl, as long as they're taller with heels on, that's all that matters. Yeah. You're taller with me when I taller than me when I have heels on. Yeah. So like for example, if someone's quite tall, say a girl is like your height, mm -hmm. it does matter if it's like over six foot. Yeah. Do you get me? It does because I wouldn't want to be wearing heels, and I'm sure no other girl, like some girls do, but a lot of girls that I know don't want to be with a man who's shorter than them when they go in for a date night or to the club yeah, I guess or something so. like that's yeah. really important have i ever smelled bad at some point and you haven't told me you've just like completely gone along with it because i'll be really bad okay so basically you hardly ever smell bad number one yeah number two because you actually look after yourself a lot like he looks after his skincare like everything like he does look after himself the only times you do smell bad is if like it's after a workout which is obvious you're gonna sweat yeah or like if like not when you like come back from the club i'd say but if you didn't shower for some reason just before the club say we were out all day mm. and then at the end of the day that like, obviously it builds up but like any woman smell you yeah. but like i think i always like even if it's an, in a jokey way i'll always say yeah because i'd rather you I tell me like some, i don't i don't now, imagine say to a girl you, not telling you you smell I your heart smell here you. in because public i don't go like smelling up place i don't go like jordan you smell it's not like that it's more like oh babe you showered today like it's literally like yeah, like yeah. it's kind of like lighthearted but yeah. i do like kind of like you know i let you know i do yeah, tell I know. you there's a guy's body count matter do you know what really and truly i think everyone has such like mixed opinions on them and i feel like it depends on number one the age of the guy for example you're older than me so like i can't really compare me to you yeah. do you get what i'm saying but i think i think if it's like crazy like that's really unattractive like i just think it's a bit like oh you've been run through you get me which is like kind of a turn off huh it's kind of a turn off mm -hmm. like it's like oh you've literally like just had anyone do you yeah, get me I get you. but like i'd rather like you be more like exclusive you get yeah. me like i don't want to be with someone who's like everyone's like oh yeah i've slept with him i've slept with him i've slept with him because it's like degrading yeah, I don't it know. but it doesn't matter completely because at the end of but the day what, past but, is past but what about that for example like that people could argue and say it makes the guy seem desirable because he's been with so many girls. What do you think of that? I it feel like I like, feel like people look at, girls look at desire as money. And the sad thing about it is like guys who have a lot of money, like I'm not like saying in specifically like some footballers, I'm not saying all some footballers, music artists and stuff, because they have money, they've slept with a lot of girls because girls look at the money, they don't look like at the body count. Yeah. Do you get me? But, like it makes them look more like, oh my god. But not not in my eyes, I just think past is past. Like whatever you've done in your past is in the past. You haven't been with anyone since being with me. You've never cheered on me, blah blah blah. So I don't care. Do you get me? Yeah. So like I don't really care. That's my honest opinion. But nothing too crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Does size matter? Yes. <laughs> <Would> you <mean> <laughs> Do you know the thing is? Because I don't like want to hate on like bodies and stuff because that's not me. Like each to their own. You get me? Like some people don't care some people care blah 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 and um, some people have their preferences like for example if a guy's like oh um i only like girls with big boobs like the girls with small boobs will be offended do you get what i'm saying so like i don't want to really Elaborate, speak on yeah. this as okay. much but i'm just saying for me personally 
Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good job. Good job. You got a good one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is uh, so awkward. I'm just like, uh, do, you, do you get jealous when girls talk to me? No. Thing is, I'm gonna elaborate. Jordan, if you don't know already, he's a club promoter. So he texts girls every single day. He'll meet them outside the club, take them in, look after them, like be kind to girls. And do you know what? It's actually like something I like like in Jordan is the fact that he takes care of people. I've been at home before and it's weird for a girl to get in the cab and like get home safe if she's too drunk and she doesn't know how to get. I've been with you before when you've bought a cab for girls to get home if they're yeah. stranded. Because that like, stuff is important, really important, especially when really like important. you're, especially when you're inviting your girls out, you know, they're coming out and you're looking after them. You have to make sure you look after them until they get home because it's been many occasions Sucks. like in London where like you know girls have been I felt very unsafe before so I like appreciate it yeah and Do guys you know I mean? and, you and know, some Jordan guys I... move weird but the way you move with girls is not weird like he's just a basic friend that's there for anyone if they need it and that's all that matters like he's not he doesn't flirt he doesn't like go over the limit you yeah. get me like he reminds people every single day on social media that I'm his girl and he'll talk to me uh, talk about me to other girls which i like appreciate you get me like he makes it aware that i'm his number one girl yeah um can i just also say i don't get jealous but if a girl starts moving weird with jordan i know he won't do anything but i get territorial but i don't think that's jealous and i don't really do much and I'm, i've learned recently how to like control him more because i'm yeah. more like oh i don't care that's my man but at the same time like i get annoyed and like sometimes like are you okay do you get me like he doesn't care about you at all do you get me like he literally doesn't care but i'm not jealous like i go home with you every day i wake up with you every day like you're my man she kind of crazy when you're in your period do you purposely find things to argue with me about because <laughs> <laughs> I, no. I feel like a lot of girls do that because you know they're I so think? grumpy and stuff they just like purposely pick on you do you know what i feel like boys don't understand so obviously you don't know how it feels for a period yeah, okay so, yeah. and let me explain to you so imagine yeah you, you wake up and your stomach is out there bloated number one mm -hmm. number two your cramps are so bad that like you even doing normal things like walking around it hurts yeah. it hurts and you and also i feel like you don't understand like i need more attention when i'm on my period to not feel yeah. as grumpy like i feel like i need attention yeah. otherwise i'm gonna lose it and if you're like doing something i think i'm getting more triggered easily yeah. so i don't find things to arguments with but i am triggered i yeah. do get triggered by stupid things and i'll just go off yeah but yeah i'm sorry about okay. that. how did you know i was the one Aww. i've had a bad running <laughs> with guys and like when um i first met jordan it got to a point for me where the last situation before him just flopped and like it was quite like a hard time for me and I was just like like at the point of giving up and I was just like do you know what? I hate boys I'm not gonna look for anyone I hate them it's me it's all about me this year that was in 2021 I was like it's all about me I don't care about attention from boys nothing and then like you came in and like do you know what was weird like I just felt like safe in your presence mm -hmm. like it just felt safe and like i've had a lot of times the year before i was with jordan mm -hmm. where i felt unsafe and like disrespected by guys and stuff and you were so respectful and like like i said you put me on a pedestal yeah and like looked after me made me feel safe mm -hmm. and like secure i guess and like the way you were talking to me, I could tell by having a few conversations with you, I could tell you were a man and not a little boy that mm. I've spoken to in the past. Mm. You get me? You have big dreams, big ambitions. And like, I looked up to that and I was like, this is the man I need in my life. And also, um, so when like we started talking, we saw each other a few times and then he went to Dubai. So we weren't exclusive, like mm. even though none of us did anything or spoke to anyone else we weren't technically exclusive so if we went got with someone else it wouldn't technically be cheating yeah and um he went to dubai um to work like for it was supposed to be a week and he extended for two whole weeks and the whole of the uk was there there was so many like models influencers so many girls he was looking after in dubai and stuff and i was at home and he facetimed me every single night to show him he was like to show me like he was 
in the hotel room by himself in bed. He'd literally be in the beach clubs on FaceTime to me surrounded by girls. And like he had me as his lock screen, like he was telling people about me. He was posting me on his story even when I wasn't with him when he was in Dubai. So like all them, the way he showed me loyalty in that one holiday, like I've never seen it before. Like yeah. like it was crazy. Like that just made me fall in love like that. Yeah. I got lips again. <laughs> Why do girls always go to the bathroom together? Now this one is one that like really want to know why. Okay, I guess it's just so number one, I'm talking now, this is going to be me in like club mode because this is the only time I'm with yeah. girls. Okay, so number one, safety. That's number one because a girl work walking, it's not far, it's in a secure club with security. A girl walking on her own to the bathroom, how many guys, drunk guys are around, even I've had it before, someone grab me, someone try to touch me inappropriately and stuff. If you're walking strongly with another girl holding their hand going, you're both safe with each other. Mm, I guess That's I number one. Mean. And also you do, like, sit, you could turn around, someone spike a drink, but your friend could be seeing it. Yeah. Like your friend is always watching you yeah, or you're yeah, watching yeah. your friend. Yeah. That's how it is. I guess, yeah. That's number one. Number two, probably to share stuff in the bathroom as in like, oh, have you got a hairbrush? Yeah. Like, oh, you haven't got a hairbrush, I'll bring my hairbrush to the bathroom. Or yeah. if I haven't got lip gloss, we'll yeah. share or whatever. And like, yeah, also number three, gossip. If something just happened in the club and or there's something going on on your phone or something you want to tell your friend, like for example, my bestie Caitlin, like when she's in the club or whatever, like if something goes on or something, I grab her hand and I'm like, come now. Like that. And then like we're in the bathroom, like she sat like, like, do you know like on your heels, just yeah. like crouched down yeah. and I'm on the toilet, I'm like, rest this, this, like yeah. that. But yeah, there's like quite a few like reasons. Okay, because like it seriously like baffles me. But that's the same as like when guys are younger, it's, it's a certain age where you stop having sleepovers with your friends. But girls will still have like sleepovers and girls. I guess, yeah. That, that makes know? sense. Girls are just more like together. Together, yeah, yeah connected. That makes sense. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. it makes a lot of sense. Okay, last question. Would you ever sleep with my best friend to save my <laughs> life? Let me just put this straight first of all. I'm not attracted to any of Jordan's friends and I could never ever ever see them in that way. They're literally my brothers. They're like, I feel like they're blood. Do you get me? Like your boys, like Jason, Benji, TK. But if you had, if you had. They're my bros. Yeah, but this is besides okay, the point. Okay, so. If you had to, I would. You can't be mad at my answer, okay? Obviously. Okay, I okay, okay. The answer is I'd have to because how many more to. After you we come alive or after you stay alive yeah like how many more times am i gonna sleep with you until we die otherwise i'll have no one for the rest of my life yeah because i wouldn't want to be with someone if it wasn't you it is a, it is a it is a weird question but cool. like question. to be to be honest i think if you said that to your best friend too yeah they'd say the same thing yeah, because we both want to save your life yes yeah, so uh, you're putting a tough and sometimes you can sleep with someone without attachment yeah so it's possible i guess it has it's to be very, done very awkward, very awkward. yeah it's really awkward i, I was actually shaking i don't all know time. i don't know what, i don't like i don't know how i feel about that but if it's to save my life i guess would I'd you do it for me i guess i'd have to you'd have to i'd want you to i'd literally want you to how do you feel about that questions i literally feel questions? like this shit <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But okay. now it's over. It's over. Yeah, you did good. The answer was pretty good. I feel like I can't breathe. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed um, the little switcheroo we did. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think Let's... these questions were pretty good. Uh, your answers they were actually pretty... were good questions. Yeah, Do you answers... think my answers are good? Yeah, your answers were dope as well. you got to make sure you comment what you want to see from us coming up in yeah. the future because we're trying to post every single week. So we're trying to brainstorm every week to think of what we can post and stuff. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And make sure you stay tuned for more videos from the Indigo family. My name is Jordi. This That's is Molly. Molly. And yeah, make sure you guys tune in for more. Peace Love out. you guys.